This is John Cena. Smash the like button if you believe that Sami Zayn shouldn't have dethroned Gunther at WrestleMania 40 in the first place. You see, I was the only guy on YouTube that was saying that Sami Zayn beating Gunther the Ringel for the icy belt. I said that was a dumb move. It made no sense. And I knew this was going to come back to bite Triple H in his ass. And here's why. Now, Sami Zayn is trying to challenge Gunther for the world title. Okay, this match makes no sense. Sami Zayn should beat Gunther. Let me repeat. Sami Zayn, let's play logic. He should beat Gunther. What has changed? What has changed since WrestleMania 40? Nothing. This eight years ago, this was recently he beat him for the IC belt. Okay, Gunther was the most dominant IC champion of all time. And Sami Zayn beat him clean. Sami Zayn beat him clean. So why wouldn't Sami Zayn do it again? Nothing has changed. Not one thing has changed about Gunther as an in ring talent. Dog, you lost to Sami Zayn. So who am I to say that Gunther should not lose again? This is all Triple H's fault. Because Chad Gable, he should have been the one to beat Gunther, not Sami Zayn. Because if your plan was to have Gunther be the world champion this year, bro, why would you have Sami Zayn beat him for the IC belt? If yo ass had plans for Gunther to be the world champion, obviously he needs opponents. Well, Sami Zayn beat him this year. Dog, Gunther has no credibility. He has zero credibility. Sami Zayn beating Gunther was a bad move. You all said, oh, what a feel good moment. I'm like, nah, bitch. I always look back in hindsight. In hindsight, yes, that was a dumb move to have him beat Gunther. Because I know eventually Sami Zayn was going to get beaten for the icy belt and he was going to move up to the world title scene. Okay, here we are. Why should Sami Zayn not beat him if he already did clean? On the biggest stage, WrestleMania, right? He don't think, Triple H don't think, he books in the moment. You got to look at the future. You knew Gutha was going to be a world champion this year. So why would you have Sami Zayn beat him? This is like, okay, this is a bad story. This is a bad movie. It's backwards. You can't push Sami Zayn like he's Rocky Balboa, right? Okay. It's like, let's say Rocky was to beat Drago at the beginning of the movie. And then at the end, he loses, right? This makes no sense. You fucked up the story. How is Sami Zayn an underdog now? How? He beat Gufa, so he is no longer an underdog. So how are you going to push this storyline if he already beat him? See, this is like Rocky beating Clever Lang. At the beginning of Rocky 3. Then at the end, Clever Lane beats him clean. And that's the ending of the movie. That would not make any sense. See, Triple H went backwards. There was no problem with Sami Zayn losing to Gutha. That would have built up his underdog gimmick. That would have made sense. Because now people don't believe Sami Zayn is going to beat Gutha. But he already did. So you killed all the logic. So I beat you this year for a mid-card belt. But months later, I can't beat you for the world title. Like what? Let's play logic. Logic says this makes no sense. Logic says Sami Zayn should beat Goofy for the world title. This is how I would have booked it. I would have had Dane Priest cash in on Goofy for the IC belt at WrestleMania. But that jealous ass prick. That jealous ass prick, Sam Junk, had to ruin it by trying to ruin Drew McIntyre's life, which made Dave Priest cash in and take advantage. But Dave Priest proved, no, nah, bro, you are not world championship material. He proved it. Like I said, Dave Priest was an IC champion, not a world champion. And yes, that came back to bite Triple H in his ass. I would have had Dave Priest cash in on Gutha. Then eventually, Chad Gable would beat Dane Priest for the IC belt. Because, dude, when would Chad Gable ever win a singles belt? When? 
Honestly, it might never happen. Let's be real. How many years has he been with this company? He was the perfect guy to beat Gutha. He's 5 foot 8. He was the perfect underdog to beat Gutha, but they chose Sami Zayn. So, why should Sami Zayn lose if he already beat Gutha for a championship? A championship that was more prestigious than the current world championship. So this is backwards booking. This is a backwards storyline. You can't have a underdog beat the monster at the beginning of the movie and then lose to that monster at the end. That's a bad movie script. Now, what are my thoughts about Kutha Darengaralel as the world champion? Has he gotten better? Yes, he has. Um, his promos have gotten better. I loved that Goldberg line against Bret Hart. That was genius. That was great stuff. So yes, he has gotten better, but it still remains to be seen on whether or not he should be a long-term world champion. Let's wait and see, because I think either Dirty Ass Dominic or Drew Mack should be the current world champion. Dirty Ass Dominic has the most heat on this show. He has the most heat in this company. Dirty Ass Dominic should be the world champion. Like I said, I would book a triple threat match between Gufa, Dirty Ass Dominic, and maybe Dane Breeze or Finn Balor or Drew Mack or CM Junk. Make that a triple threat match and have Dirty Ass Dominic pin Drew Mack or CM Junk. Have him pin somebody that's not Gufa in that match. That's how you protect Gufa. Don't have Dominic pin him. But Dirty Ass Dominic will still win the match and be the world champion. That will get Dominic more heat because it will feel like he stole that world title because he did not pin Gufa. And hey, you never know. That might turn Gufa into a good guy. You never know. Like I said, Dominic is the most captivating guy on this show next to Drew Mack, the motherfucking Mac Daddy.